Okay, what's going on, everyone? Um, it's Shanti Dredd, um, and this is my very, very first uh, response blog. Um, I, I hope I can get this done right. You know, I, I see a lot of you guys that look so professional at it, and um, uh, I'm just going to try to see if I can respond to this question the best way that I can. I had someone ask me, um, they watched one of my videos, and which I responded about me being in corporate America and um, the way that I take care of myself and take care of my locks in, in corporate America. And the question was posed to me, uh, what particular style or what styles um, would I consider to be the best or would I consider to be less um, noticeable, uh, if I could use that term, in corporate America? And um, here's my response to that. Your locks are basically the, it's almost like saying hello to the elephant in the room. Um, I'm the only um, black person in my company. I go to a lot of meetings. Uh, I travel a lot. And uh, when I get to these meetings, there's a, a, a lot of, um, of, of our Caucasian brothers and sisters that are there. And um it, it could be, um, to some other people, very, very uh, intimidating. But if you know who you are uh, and be uh, confident in who you are and your position and what you have to bring to the table, then those things shouldn't bother you. Um, I never let those things bother me. I'm not intimidated by uh, any race, creed, color, religion, any of that. So, you know, I'm definitely positive with who I am and what I bring to the table. Um, that being said, um, the company that I work for, I have the number one um, branch in the region, uh, which speaks volumes. Um, so when I go to, to these meetings and where there are over um, three or four hundred different um, supervisors or partners uh, being represented, yes, I sit right in the midst of them and I'm not intimidated. Um, in the beginning, I was a little apprehensive about uh, stepping into those environments with my locks. Um, and uh, that can be perceived as uh, what they refer to as urban. Um, I got over that rather quickly because I, I began to notice the more meetings that we would go to or hanging out in uh, after hour spots, um, you know, after five, having drinks with, with some of the partners and different things like that. The more and more I began to socialize with them, um, the more I realized that it really wasn't an issue. Sometimes they come to my office and we have meetings and we do trade figures and look over uh, the books and do different things like that. But it's to, to my experience that I realized that if you don't say anything about them and if you don't make a big deal about them, no one's going to say anything about it. In most cases, they are very um, respectful. They're very respectful about who you are as a person, uh, your individuality. That being said, um, Yes, uh, you can be an individual and yes, you can express yourself in corporate America. But at the same time, I don't think it's selling out or, or necessarily conforming if you just try to, to manipulate your locks or to place them in a particular fashion. You know, you shouldn't have them all just just wild and hanging all over the place um, with with pieces of lint in them and then looking dry or this and that. Now, you don't necessarily have to just do that for corporate America. It's, it's all about an image. I mean, you should represent yourself in a professional manner anyway. When you leave the house, you're representing yourself. So um, I, I wouldn't go out into a, a regular restaurant or go out and hang out and have a couple of drinks or go to a place and meet up with friends and, and have my hair just wild and, and all over the place or um, not look very professional. So it's all about an image. So as long as you're not making a big deal about it, I, I doubt very seriously that anyone's going to say anything about it. The more attention you try to put into it, um, and the more you try to focus on it, then it, it could become a problem because all of a sudden there are interests and there are different questions and things like that. But as long as you do what you're supposed to do and you uh, maintain your level of uh, professionalism, it, I, I, no one's going to say anything. No one's going to say anything at all. Um, your work would speak volumes for you. 
if, if you're a great employee, if you're good at what you do, um, if you have a positive attitude, if you have an award-winning smile, if your, your characteristics and attributes um, outshine anything other else that you do, you're going to be fine. You know, um, you just got to let the good that you do, you know, speak for you. So corporate America is, is, is not, um, and this is, this again is, is my personal experience. So I don't want anyone to come bashing me saying, oh, he's wrong or he's, this is again, me speaking. And this is my personal experience from it. Um, my experience and, and my, um, all these situations and scenarios that I've dealt with, I've noticed that if you don't say anything, if you don't make it a big deal, no one's going to say anything. Really, no, no one's going to say anything about it. So just be who you are. Be who you are with regards to your company's policy or, you know, that that's another thing. Read up on your company's policy. Grab the handbook, you know, talk to somebody in HR or <clears throat> excuse me, get your policies handbook and see, and most of them you'll see it's just about personal grooming or to stay neat or to stay tidy or different things like that. As long as you're adhering to your company policy, no one's going to make it a, a, a direct issue towards you. And I'm going to say that if they are, if something is being said to you, it's it's much bigger than, you know, your appearance or it's much bigger than um, uh, the way that you're, you're free forming or the way that you're, you're wearing your hair natural they may be looking at some other issues so if you're not adhering to company policy that may just be giving them the fuel that they need to um, look at some other things or, or to to approach you um, and that that may just be fuel so just look, look at your background you know what you're doing you know um, so corporate America is it's, it, it can be really tough it can but um, just comply as long as you're complying and you're not being the the militant person there um, then you're going to be fine. So, again, this is my personal experience with corporate America and locks. Um, you can make it. You can do it. So, um, that's my spiel. All right. Thanks for listening. <laughs>